A viral video came out that goes by the name of Help Catalonia Save Europe. Throughout the entirety of the video, it made a bunch of baseless claims in regards to the Spanish government and the Catalonian referendum movement. Even though I'm a very stupid Yankee who don't know other country besides America, I feel as though my knowledge about Catalonia is well enough to comment on this video. So uh, let's begin. Muchas gracias. This is Barcelona, Catalonia, Europe. Mother fucker! Or shall I say, hijo de punta. I know, this is like super, super, super nitpicky. But Catalonia is part of the European Union because Catalonia and Barcelona, all that stuff right there, is part of Spain. And by association, that's why Catalonia is part of the European Union. Coño! Yeah, who does not like coño in bed and eating the coño and all that kind of stuff? Yummy! These people behind me are Catalans. You do realize that the people in the background only represent the fucking separatists, right? Saying that Catalonians represent separatism is like saying that black people represent Black Lives Matter or women represent feminism. Oh my god, this is a black person. You must support Black Lives Matter. Uh, sorry, but uh, I don't support Black Lives Matter even though I'm black. Internalize racism, yeah. That's not how things work out. People have different thoughts, different opinions, different ideas about different subjects. To assume that Catalonians would stand behind you just because they're Catalonians is kind of off and kind of removes the person of an individuality basis. We the Catalans are taking back the streets to protest peacefully over and over again. You claim that the separatists have been doing peaceful protests, however, that is far from the truth. There's footage of Catalonian separatists who went out their way to gather around a girl's family to call a girl Punta in front of her face. For those who do not know Spanish, basically Punta translates as whore, so basically the Catalonian separatists call a little girl a whore just because they are different than them. This is not the only isolated incident in regards to the separatists. There's footage of the Catalonian separatists going out their way to attack police cars and also footage of them stalking other people for not being separatists. In short, these people call little girls whores. These people just stalk other people and badmouth other people for not being separatists and these people would also attack police and police cars. Like the separatists are just very nice people, very decent human beings. Why are we doing this? Basically because we're European citizens and we believe in European values, freedom, democracy, and human rights. If you guys truly and honestly believe in European values, just tell me just why in the fuck is there footage of separatists burning the Spanish flag and the European Union flag, if you guys truly believe in those values. Now, I'm not trying to say that you need to have the European Union to have European values. However, to some people, if they were to look at that, it will basically come across to them as a disrespect to European values because of what the flags represent. To some people, the European Union and the Spanish flag represents freedom, human rights, and democracy. So you guys might uh, want to improve your image. We are pacifists. We are pacifists. We are pacifists. We 
are pacifists. We are pacifists. We are pacifists. Yeah, pacifists, you guys uh, are not dead. What crime had these people committed? What the separatists broke was 155 of the Spanish Constitution. Essentially, the entire country has to vote for independence for Catalonia in order for it to happen. However, because the separatists did not do that, that's why they got in big trouble in regard to the police confrontation. A support for independence rocketed. The Catalan parliament made a call for a referendum. The Spanish government declared the vote illegal. It was not the Spanish government that declared the Catalonian referendum illegal, but rather it was the constitutional court that made it illegal. Thousands of police were sent to seize ballot papers. Raid pro-independence media offices, shut down hundreds of websites, and arrested 14 Catalan government officials without any court orders. The Catalan politicians, as well as the websites being shut down, were actually underneath court orders. I have a serious question to ask you, like, why must you lie in this video? Like, I'm not pro-independence or anti-independence, I'm just somebody who just watches the news and look at information. But still, why do you must have to lie to tell people your story? Like, can you not look at the basic information and the basic facts to tell your side of the story? Despite threats and violence, we managed to vote at the end. 2.3 million people, 90% of us in favor of independence. That 90% figure is very misleading. According to the data from the government of Catalonia, about 2 million out of 5 million managed to vote during the referendum. That means that the participation level was only 43%. So basically, the whole entire 90% thing is actually not as accurate as you guys wanted it to be presented. Not to mention there are stories by various outlets showing that people during the votes actually voted more than one time. Not to mention, prior to the whole entire voting process, there has been footage of people finding ballots that were already in the booth before the booth actually opened. In other words, the statistic is very misleading. One, because of the small sample size. Two, people might manipulate the numbers by voting more than one time. And so basically it's not an accurate representation of the population. Anyway, that's enough for this video. I'm just lost count the amount of lives throughout the whole entire video I responded to.